Hello beautiful souls, welcome to the heart space. Today we're going to discuss the upcoming full moon lunar eclipse in Libra, which is an extremely special event. The full moon lunar eclipse in Libra is going to happen on March 25th. And so get ready for a transformative and intense period coming up. So let's discuss what is a lunar eclipse. Imagine the Earth cozy in space between the radiant sun and the majestic moon. When Earth casts a shadow on the moon, voila, we witness a lunar eclipse. It's a cosmic dance of shadows and light. Now picture the moon drenched in Libra's energy, seeking balance, harmony and partnership. Libra, represented by the scales, reminds us of the importance of equilibrium in our lives. During this full moon, reflect on your relationships. Are you giving and receiving in equal measure? A lunar eclipse is not just a celestial spectacle. It's a door to introspection. It magnifies emotions, highlights our shadows, and prompts significant life changes. Think of it as a cosmic nudge to embrace growth and let go of what no longer serves you. And so let's do a little activity together. Grab a piece of paper right now and jot down what you are ready to release this eclipse. Later, we will do a little ritual together. With Libra steering the ship, this lunar eclipse focuses on relationships, justice, and beauty. It's time to balance our hearts and minds. Are your relationships reflecting your true self? Libra urges us to find harmony within and with others. How to harness this beautiful energy? Embrace Libra's energy by fostering balance in your life. Start a dialogue, seek understanding, and appreciate the beauty around you. It's a powerful time for healing rifts and creating art. Remember the list you made? Let's turn it into a ritual. Safely light a candle, read your list aloud, and imagine releasing these items into the universe. When you're ready, burn the list once again safely, symbolizing letting go go. Astrologically, this eclipse may bring sudden insights or shifts in relationships. It's a potent time for personal growth, finding peace in endings, and joy in new beginnings. You're called to embrace the changes that are about to occur in your life. They are leading you to your true path. Of course, each sign will be affected in different ways. The common traits, though, is going to be breakthroughs in relationships, breakthroughs in communication, and also breakthroughs in your partnerships. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What did you release during our ritual? How do you plan to embrace Libra's harmonious energy? Share in the comments below and let's support each other on this lunar journey. Thank you so much for joining me on this astrological insight portion. Furthermore, I'm going to pull out some tarot cards and we are going to see what are the messages from spirit regarding this, regarding this uh, full moon lunar eclipse in Libra. And what can we do on an individual level to bring in this beautiful and transformational energy. So if you'd like to join me there, I'll see you on the other side. Hello my loves, welcome to the heart space. Today, as we discussed in the astrological portion, if you've been with me, we are discussing the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra. And so I have a beautiful spread here that I'm going to use. We're going to go with the flow and let spirit come through to give us as many messages that we need to hear right now regarding this important and transformational event. Let me just shuffle a little bit. We're going to allow spirit to come through. Show us clearly spirit guides. Most important energies. Darkness, number 40. This is extremely relevant because we're talking about the eclipse, right? Total darkness. I feel like a lot of breakthroughs are going to come through throughout this period, throughout this lunar eclipse in Libra. Anything else? Mm, beautiful protection. You're protected in ways that you cannot imagine. You can always ask for protection. That's what I'm getting. 
the path. Oh, I love this. I love this. So we have four, six, and eight. We are gradually, we are gradually opening ourselves up to new beginnings, to endings, to culminations as well. I want to read just a couple of paragraphs from Darkness. You're entering a time of introversion, a leaner time, or a time to turn inward, to plan and strategize. It is time to do shadow work, which will bring big dividends later on. Release what no longer works for you. The darkness needs to be there as much as does the light. One of the earliest human fears is said to be a fear of the dark. We fear what we can see and we fear what may be hiding. In reality, the dark is as important as the light. It is during these long nights we can begin to do our shadow work, undertaking the self-reflection needed to identify what isn't working for us and what might be causing us pain. This could be a bad habit, a destructive pattern, a recurring useless fear, or anything that holds us back from being the best we can be. Once we see these aspects of ourselves in the dark, we can simply decide whether, whether they must go. We can decide to release them once and for all. We get to transform. Yes, this is a period of shadow work on a collective level, but also on an individual level. This is the time. What do you have to shed? What are the things, situations, people, destructive patterns that you have to shed right now? The path is opening up to you. Number eight, we are in this number eight cycle. 2024 breaks down into an eight. Number eight symbolizes the infinity uh, energy, of course, but also karma. We are releasing a lot of karma. Let's get to from the Moonology Oracle. This wants to come out. Don't let pride get in your way. Okay. Nothing will come out of the situation. I do believe that sometimes we hang on to particular things or people or jobs even just for the sake of our ego, just for the sake of our pride. And we need sometimes to recognize to release control and to surrender, to letting go, and to realize that nothing will come out of this situation. Take time to breathe out, take time to do the shadow work, take time to meditate, take time for self-healing. Extremely important. Okay, and surrender to the divine, yes. <laughs> Beautiful. Surrendering to the divine means surrendering to what is, surrendering to the unknown, surrendering to the darkness as much as you are surrendering to the light, finding that beautiful sweet spot. Okay, I'm loving this energy. I'm going to use the Osho Tarot for this particular tarot spread, and we're going to ask Spirit, what this beautiful, potent lunar energy, solar eclipse lunar energy, brings into your life. Thank you. Oh, yes, new vision, clarity, new perspectives, a broader perspective in understanding what needs to be gone from your life, what needs to be shed, just like, just like the snake's skin. Uh, there is a new vision on the horizon for you and it's going to take you into abundance, into peace, into happiness. It's going to take you into your purpose, the path, right? One of the messages that just came through is the fact that spirit is asking you to release fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. When you move into this darkness, open up to this darkness, embrace this darkness, because you're going to receive so many answers. You're going to receive a lot of clarity in the darkness more than in the light. You are protected, okay? That's the, the gradual energy here. Embrace the darkness. Know that you are protected. This is how you are going to find the path, your path. What this eclipse wants us to leave behind? What do we need to leave behind? Existence, finding purpose in the ordinary, 
we are being called to see ourselves as whole, to understand that separation is an illusion, and to open up to understanding that home is not the physical thing, is a feeling, is an energy that you can nurture and that you can create at any time. You're being called to step outside of your home, step outside of your box, right? To look at the stars, to look at the, to look at the vastness of it all, and to understand that you are bigger than your vessel, which is your body. Beautiful. I feel like we are invited to be more connected, to see ourselves less separated because separation, once again, is an illusion. We are all fragments of source. How can we release what is no longer needed? The miser, yes. You need to relinquish this idea that those items are going to make you happy. They're, go they're only going to create this separation that we are trying to stay away from. And so this is an example in understanding that we need to share, we need to be generous, we need to start giving more and expecting less. What is the message from Mama Moon? Thank you. Comparison and participation, yes. <laughs> it's extremely important to avoid comparing yourself to anybody. You are unique, you are special, you have your own gifts, you are protected, and you are here for a specific purpose. To participate in your community and see yourself as valuable. Self-worth, extremely important. How can we illuminate our future, Spirit Guides? Playfulness. Have this beautiful childlike energy, right? Play more, work less, enjoy the moment more, enjoy nature more, enjoy the little things much more than we do. What's coming our way, Spirit Guides? What's the likely outcome? What's coming our way? Silence. Ooh, I love this energy. Silence is really us embracing stillness. Silence is, as you can see, the third eye being activated. The third eye is all about your intuition, trusting your intuition. Intuition is like a muscle. It needs to be practiced. The fortune that's coming your way starts with you going back to yourself to go back into trusting your intuition, to spend time with yourself. That is where the fortune lies within yourself, okay? We are presented with new opportunities, with this new vision, with seeing things from different perspectives, and it's in our hands what we do with this new vision how we nurture it, how we cultivate it. There's this beautiful energy here of protection, this beautiful energy of understanding that we are not separate, that we are all one in this grand scheme, in this universe, and that we all play an important and specific role in the evolution of humankind and the evolution of the universe. All right, can you tell us a little more about this new vision? what's the energy that this event brings. Five of Wands, the Moon, and Seven of Cups. So this new vision is bringing the flexibility and adaptability that we need to be able to see through illusion. When the moon is here, it speaks about not seeing clearly something very important. It speaks about fear, it speaks about illusion, and Seven of Cups pretty much speaks about the same thing. It's about illusion, it's about breaking through what we think is our truth, and finally having this new clarity, this new vision, to look at this energy from a different place, okay? from more of an observer state than you being emotionally tied to this illusion, to this 
perceived truth. Okay, tell me more about the silence. The good fortune coming our way. Two of Pentacles. Nine, wow, Nine of Cups and the Sun. See, it's our choice. We have a choice. We can come back to self. We can come back home to who we truly are. Or we can just sit in this Two of Pentacles state of mind, indecisive, not knowing what to do. We have a choice in, in either finding the good fortune in the silence, listening to our intuition, or battling, battling our intuition. Look what's coming though if we decide to go the silence path. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. This is pure happiness. And for me, the sun facilitates new beginnings at all times. Let's get an angel answer. I feel the need to use these cards today. Okay, what is this about? Romance. So there will be a lot of emphasis put on romance. For some of you are going to realize that your love connection may not be the healthiest choice and you may want to rethink, you may want to revisit that. For others, you're going to put more time, you're going to redirect your focus on romance more than, for example, work. Reconsider, yes. This is once again about reconsidering a romantic connection here. This is a time when breakthroughs are at hand and it's going to be much easier to, to gain that clarity that we need sometimes when we are kind of caught in a situation that we don't really want to be in anymore and you kind of have to find a way out. One more. Helpful people at all times. There's helpful people around you. If you found this valuable, Please like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and let me know in the comment box down below, how do you feel these energies? What are you focused on? What are the things that you are called to release throughout this time? And how this spread resonates with you? Thank you. Let's see, in closing, final message regarding the full moon lunar eclipse in Libra. On March 25th, by the way, So we have lion twice here. Lion is about kind of trying to balance our pride and ego, balancing, balancing the showmanship versus the humility and generosity, okay? And so we have lion spirit, be generous of spirit, be generous in your life, do not be the miser, try to give more, try to be there for people, try to be more humble, and try to put yourself more out there. We are called to do our best, okay? And then we have set healthy boundaries, absolutely. Especially if you are in a romantic connection that is not healthy, setting healthy boundaries, knowing when your energy ends and the other person's energy begins. Try to protect your energy and your space. And cow spirit, the miracles are endless. Yes, they are. You can manifest a beautiful experience, a beautiful reality here on this uh, planet. Please remember that you are not your body, that you are much bigger than death. You are existence. You are everything and nothing. Thank you, beautiful souls. I wish you nothing but the best. And I hope to see you back here at the heart space really soon. Love you. Bye-bye.